I'm Coyote Peterson, this is Kate Bimrose, and today we're going to be exploring the Bolinas Lagoon, a unique ecosystem that's part of the Greater Farallons National Marine Sanctuary. As the sun breaks through the morning clouds, we slowly cross the harbor and land on the shore of Kent Island. Welcome to the Bolinas Lagoon, an internationally recognized wetlands that is perfectly tucked into the hills of West Marin, California. This thousand acre tidal estuary is a protected refuge and home to a variety of animal species. Today I will be heading off trail with Lagoon Restoration Coordinator, Kate Bimrose. Her field of expertise is environmental management, and for the past five years, she has been working with the Greater Farallons Association, a nonprofit whose goal is to protect the lagoon's native plant and animal species. My goal is to see what kind of animals inhabit this island, and we didn't have to travel far before we came across our first creature. What we got? Oh, right there, look at that. Oh, you know what that is? That is a black widow. This is not a spider you want to get bitten by, that's for sure. It's a big female right there. Got her. Wow. Woo! And that's about as close as you would ever want to get to a black widow spider. One of the most venomous spider species here in the United States. So you guys are out here all the time then picking plants, flipping logs, and building piles of stuff. You know what you're also doing? Creating perfect habitat for the black widow. Absolutely, My I goodness. didn't realize that. That is one of the biggest female black widows I think I've ever seen. Look at the size of her abdomen. I'm assuming you've never been bitten by one of these, I've right? I've never been bitten by one. I've never even seen one on the island, actually. So this okay. is a first this is, for me. So this is a new find. All it right, is. we're breaking yeah, ground here. Absolutely. This spider has no interest in biting you. The only reason it would bite is to protect itself mm -hmm. from getting squished and killed. I love getting to explore uninhabited expanses of wilderness, and as we moved across the island, we soon came upon signs of one elusive little mammal. So one of the little rodents we have out here on Kent Island is um, the salt marsh harvest mouse, which is actually endemic to the San Francisco Bay Area. They're so tiny though, what they do is they kind of grab one of these stalks, they pull it down, and then they kind of bite it off and they eat the seeds inside. So they end up leaving these little piles of matchsticks around. Mm -hmm. You can see where they've sort of been eating and um, getting their meals before they bury down into their tunnels and, and move to the next spot. All right, well, we'll keep our eyes peeled and maybe we'll see one of these cute little mice. All right, let's keep moving, see what else we can find. All right. As we crested the north end of the island, we eventually came upon a place where the land meets the sea. And there hunting along the shoreline, we were witness to hundreds of birds. The Bolinas Lagoon is famous for being a stopover point on the Pacific Flyway, which makes it a perfect spot for birders hoping to observe migrating species. From gulls and terns, to egrets, cormorants, pelicans, herons, and one really cool looking sandpiper. We saw more birds than we could ever present in a single episode. Moving back inland, we suddenly came across Kate's arch enemy and the most notorious invader of Kent Island. What are we looking at here? We're actually looking at ice plant right here, which is um, originally from South Africa. So this is a, an invasive species right here? Yes, exactly. That's too bad because they're so cool looking. And I assume this is some sort of a succulent, right? Yeah, exactly. And when you open it up here, you can kind of take a look inside and it's sort of crystallized. It almost looks like ice. Oh wow, it really does. Yeah. Actually, one of the ways that we are getting rid of this plant is by pumping salt water onto the island because these are salt intolerant. So when they soak up all of that salt water, they start to dry out and the nutrients run out of the plant and they go from this healthy green to a more unhealthy red or um, yellow color and then they're easier to pull up out of the ground. Kate spends the majority of her days protecting Kent Island against the ever invasive ice plant. And while we could have battled these invaders forever, it was time to continue our search for animal inhabitants, where I finally found and managed to capture one of the island's most elusive rodents, the California vole. Ah, hold on. I got to get him by the scruff of his neck. Got to be as gentle as possible. All right, look at those little teeth there. Do not want to get nipped by those. 
and they're out here eating all the little seeds here on the island and it's great because these guys are actually helping the ecosystem by distributing seeds of native species, right? Absolutely, and then they're also a great food source for a lot of the bird species out here. Wow, this was so tough to catch. I've seen about four of them today, haven't been able to get close, and I don't want to get bitten by him. He's got some pretty sharp little teeth up front there. I've got a gentle hold on the back of his neck, just by the scruff, which is not causing him any injury. He's just gonna enjoy his company for a minute here, and then let him back off into the wild. Look at his pudgy little belly there. You see, they've got a real short little tail. Got these nice springy back feet, and they are incredibly quick. And they have burrow systems all over the island, don't they? Absolutely. Every border log that we have flipped up looking for creatures has had a burrow underneath it. And like Coyote said, they have a whole system of tunnels. So as soon as they see some sort of a predator, they are out of there in a flash. All right, we're gonna let this little guy go back off into the wild so he can continue distributing seeds here in the lagoon. Wow, Kate, what an awesome adventure. Thank you so much for having us today out in the Bolinas Lagoon. We saw some great creatures and learned all about this ecosystem. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. The protection and restoration of the Bolinas Lagoon is an ongoing effort. And if it wasn't for environmental activists like Kate, an organization such as the Greater Farallons Association, these beautiful ecosystems would be lost from the world forever. To get involved, Make sure to visit the Greater Farallons Association website, www.farallons.org. If you enjoyed this adventure, make sure to check out the time I helped stamp Northern Elephant Seals. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.